Hey guys, Jared from Parker Mountain Machine. Today we're doing an installation video for the FN SCAR Mark 16, Mark 17 using the PMM gas jet tool. Tools needed to use your PMM gas jet tool. Any source of propane gas for a torch or map gas, an eight millimeter box wrench, gear head wrench, or simply just an adjustable spanner wrench will suffice. First thing that you need to do with your SCAR Mark 16 or Mark 17 is to take the front sight if it's in the stowed position and put it in the deployed position. Your gas regulator valve should be in the vertical or 12 o'clock position. It's typically referred to as the unsuppressed position. With the front sight in the deployed position, we're going to take the flat end screwdriver portion of the PMM gas jet tool and we're going to depress the locking plunger that's held with spring tension right hand side. Now sometimes these gas selector valves are sticky. What you can do is you can get them slightly started and then take the actual PMM gas jet tool and use it as a lever bar to rotate it. What we want to do is we want to get that selector valve rotated as far to the left as possible and pull it out of the gas block. With the gas selector valve removed, we're now going to take our map gas or propane torch and we need to apply direct heat to the gas block. If you have one of our MRE or PRE rail extensions, you can apply direct heat into what would be considered the combustion chamber, the expansion chamber for the gas itself. And what we're looking for, you'll kind of see it here, is on the side of the gas block, when it's getting warm enough, it'll start to get some rosacea. It's almost like a pink hue that you want to get to the side of that thing. The reason we're using the heat is because that gas jet, for all intents and purposes, lives in the rear end of Satan and it's subjected to gas, fire, copper, carbon and we need to get a little bit of heat in there to make it easier to get out. Now that we have the heat applied to the gas block we want to take the flat head, flat head side of the PMM gas jet tool and install it. And you can look inside the gas jet and you will see where the flat head portion of the gas jet engages. There are hexes machined into both ends of the gas jet tool. These are exactly eight millimeter, so you can use a box wrench that's eight millimeter, or a standard spanner wrench. I like to use a uh, Craftsman gear wrench because it allows me to slide it over the top, which I know you guys can't see in the frame right now, and push down on this portion of the gas tool while I'm turning it counterclockwise and you'll feel it crack free. This shouldn't have an overabundance of resistance to it provided there is enough heat into the gas block itself. And as you can see, this is now turning out with relative ease. Now that we have the factory gas jet removed, you can take the flathead portion of your gas tool and just pull it out of the bore. You can see that it is threaded. The reverse for the installation process is just as simple. We're going to use the opposite end of the PMM gas jet tool if you have one of our gas jets. And the Allen key portion is here. You can put the actual gas jet on this portion of the gas tool. And you're going to install it down through the top and hand tighten it. Something that should be noted here for you guys during the installation process and get this out of the way. Sometimes during the installation of the PMM gas jet, you'll notice that the top of the gas jet is sticking up above the radius inside the actual expansion chamber. It's important only to make sure that that gas jet is sunk deep enough into the gas block so you can get the gas selector valve 
back in there with ease so it slides in and out. It does not have to be tightened down in there really, really hard. All it's doing is modulating how much gas actually comes up into the expansion chamber anyways. So it's just critical to make sure that this guy can slide back in there and then you rotate it counterclockwise and lock it into position and this gas selector valve will actually hold the gas jet captive so even if it's only in there loosely it can never physically back out.